Welcome everyone. Today we are going to prepare a simple syrup IP. IP means Indian Pharmacopoeia standard. So in Indian Pharmacopoeia, uh, simple syrup IP contains 66.7 percentage of sucrose. It means that 67, 66.7 percentage uh, grams of sucrose plus remaining amount make up of 200 grams. Means 33.3 grams of water. Right. So for that preparation, we require a measuring cylinder. One funnel to make filtration assembly, glass rod, spatula, we required one beaker, this is our muslin cloth, it is simple filtration cloth, uh, simple paper uh, filter will not work here because it is going to get blocked, so we require muslin cloth here as the viscosity of syrup is very high. Then. For the preparation of simple syrup, we require sucrose 66.7 gram. We require 33.3 grams of distilled water. Combinedly together, it is going to make 100 gram of simple syrup IP. After preparation of simple syrup, we are going to fill into a dispensing bottle. This bottle is also called as a narrow mouth because it having the narrow mouth, narrow mouth, colorless dispensing bottle. After filling uh, preparation inside the bottle, we are going to paste one label after putting appropriate information as per the standard pharmacopoeia. We also require one uh, weighing balance, digital weighing balance and we also require one water bath to heat our sugar and water solution together to make sucrose solubilize faster. Let's start preparation of simple syrup IP. We require one beaker. We are going to put one to one the weighing balance. We are going to make it zero by tearing. Now we are going to put 66.7 gram of sucrose in the beaker. Now we are going to put remaining quantity of water which can mix up to the 100 gram so we have to pay attention here now we are going to put uh, uh, add the water up to 100 gram so slowly you can put inside now we are going to take this uh, sucrose and water mixture put it into water bath and we are going to stir it slowly till the sucrose gets dissolved completely. So now you can see the sucrose is completely solubilized. Little bit haziness which you can observe. This is because of the air bubble entrap during the uh, stirring using gas rod. Now we are going to filter this solution. For this, we are going to take one measuring cylinder and funnel and we are going to place the muslin cloth over it appropriately and now we are going to pour our solution into it slowly to get the it out. Remember that use muslin cloth for filtration because the paper filter will going to get chock up. Now you can see we got approximately 75.1 ml of this syrup and the 75.1 ml of syrup is equal to 100 gram of syrup because the density of syrup is 1.3 so that's why we got the 75.1 ml but it, it is equal to 100 gram of syrup now we are going to remove this here and we are going to fill into our final container like this. Oh. 
over here just to close it and now we are going to paste one label over here after putting appropriate information as per the standards so this is our final formulation simple syrup this simple syrup is used in various formulations as a pharmaceutical aid it will also having the sweet taste so the drugs which having the obnoxious taste which can be minimized using the simple syrup in the formulation it is also used as a vehicle in some of the formulations just like our elixirs and it doesn't require any preservative because the 66.7 percentage weight by weight sucrose concentration is very high enough to exert the osmotic pressure which will dehydrate the bacterial cell and it is going to ultimately destroy the microorganisms from the formulations apart from this the water which is required for the simple syrup which is exactly that which can able to dissolve the sucrose 66.7 grams so, so practically there is no excess water is available which can uh, which can facilitate the micro microorganism growth and while hydrolyzing the sucrose it can produce sucrose and which also having the antioxidant property so some formulation some drugs having oxidative nature while preparing the formulation using the syrup we no require the antioxidants too so that's all about the simple syrup ip thank you